Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Two of Cups energy here. Let me get something with this Two of Cups. Let me get something with this Two of Cups. We have the Three of Wands energy, a relationship moving forward, clear as day. Let me get something with this Three of Wands. There is some type of expansion. I don't know if somebody's traveling, somebody's going overseas. This could be someone that's not from the same place possibly. Maybe from just a different place. We have the Ace of Cups, but it seems to be love. It seems to be love. It seems to be two people becoming one here. That's very interesting how I went from the Two of Cups to the Ace. Let me get... Oh, we have the Five of Wands. Why, Lord? Why? Why right now? Let me get something here. I'm dropping cards. We have the Five of Wands. Who is this? Who is this? That's the question I'm getting. What is this fight about? We have the Page of Cups. What in the world? I see a relationship and then I see someone maybe chasing after another love. Like something else that they love. I don't think it's another person. I hope it's another, not another person. That would not even make no sense. But sometimes it'd be like that. Let me get something here with this Page of Cups. I think it's a vision though. We have the Hermit card. It's like chasing after some type of vision, but it's love. It's like you love it. You have to do something or you have to do what you love. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. It's something about a team, teamwork, doing what you love, taking some type of offer to do what you love. But it's just this Five of Wands I'm a little bit worried about. It seems to be some type of, maybe the Five of Wands is competition. Maybe that's what it is. But that seems to be the harshest energy here, is that Five of Wands, right in the middle. Let me get something here with this Two of Cups. We have the Three of Swords here. Oh my goodness. Does somebody have to like, what's going to happen with that relationship? Oh my God, the Ten of Swords, from the Three of Swords to the Ten of Swords, somebody got to leave a relationship to pursue what they love. Wait a minute, that don't even make sense. Oh, we got the lovers here, though. It's something about other partners or, or the partners that's meant to be or the partners that's chosen for you. Whoa. What is this Two of Cups, though? I'm so sad for somebody because I'm like, damn, what's going to happen in that Two of Cups? What's going to happen in, with, with that relationship? Why? We have the Four of Swords here. Some type of putting the rest, some type of arguing and fighting here. It really feels like there's a, there's a problem with something that you love or something that you want to pursue. It seems to be some type of problem. But the only way to solve it is just to go after what you love. I don't know. Like, that's crazy. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. Like, I feel somebody's having a vision of, like, having a successful life or a successful business. But they got to leave. They got to move. They got to go. They got to go where their heart is taking them. And it may hurt somebody. Yeah, the world card here. Yeah, this is very serious to somebody. It's very serious. Wow, this is a hard energy right here. This is giving up something. But being at peace with it. Yeah, look at that Five of Cups here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is really something. Look, judgment. Oh my God, it's like something's going to happen that lets you know that that's not the right relationship for you.
and you're gonna it's gonna open a doorway for you to go after your true love or your true dream or your true connection or your true soulmate or soul flame or whatever the case may be but the fact that it came out as a two of cups i mean i guess that's the only way they can really depict relationships in the tarot but you know two of cups is usually like a healing relationship but it don't look that healing to me now it looked like something that you were meant to wake up from so that you can get something better but it doesn't make it any less painful yeah we have the ace of swords here this is a confirmation for somebody you have to already know that this is the direction that this relationship is heading you have to know this you have to know it in your heart like you have to know that it's not good for you it's not in your best interest it's not helping you rise it's not helping you get nowhere you have to know that and you have to wake up this is a wake-up call for somebody i know it is i know it is i feel it we have the sun card here man when i tell you there's a, just a beautiful relationship for you there's like you think your relationship is good because you have somebody no i'm talking like it'll really you'll really build something here because ain't nobody got time for no damn five of pentacles yeah we need to put a rest to that four swords somebody needs to heal from that they need to heal we have the nine of wands energy here nine of wands energy is somebody that has been strengthened somebody that has been through a lot but they're not weak they're very strong as a result of being through so much and somebody has made peace with whatever whatever is going on with this two of cups and if you haven't made peace with it then you ain't at this part yet i'm telling the truth to somebody let me get something with this ten of pentacles here wow we have the seven of sword like a dream thief or something like that like you can't let them take this shit from you man you can't let them take it from you i'm getting a pain in my damn neck you cannot let them take this shit from you oh my god you see this is why okay how can i say when you have friends in your life and they be trying to tell you the truth and shit they become like the number one enemy because then you're going to feel some type of way if your lover or whoever you're with if you tell them they're going to feel some type of way everybody going to target the person that's telling the truth let me get something here but somebody's a fucking dream thief they are and they know they are let me get something here with the world card my damn neck <laughs> I gotta crack my neck on this one. Let me get something here with this world card. We have justice. Yeah, exactly. Nah. And it's right on top of the world. Like, Lord, you see this row? It's the hermit who's somebody that looks deep, deep, deep within to find out what it is that they want. Oh my gosh. Or who it is they are. And they close out that cycle there. And it's justice. It's time for your afterlife it is it's time for your afterlife it's time for your afterlife we have the emperor here it's just so crazy that it's over here with the five of cups it's just so crazy like it's literally i'm almost scared for somebody it's bittersweet it's bittersweet you win some you lose some it's crazy lord let me get something here with this judgment card. This may not be for everybody, but this is what I'm seeing here. This is exactly what I'm seeing here. Like you lose something, but you get something better, but it's still like, damn. That shit hurts, man. I can feel somebody's pain. We have the page of Pentacles here. Yep. Let's see what this page of Pentacles is. It looks like it's some type of information that's going to come out. That's what it's really looking like to me. Some type of message or some shit. We have the Eight of Cups energy here. Somebody's walking away after that. Whatever it is, it's like something. Oh my goodness, it looks like something small. What could this be? And then we got the Page of Swords energy here. 
Hmm, Page of Sword is usually watching somebody trying to get some type of information, trying to see where you're planting some type of seed, perhaps, because I see somebody going after what it is that they want. And this person is watching. And I'm sorry, like, I feel like somebody's a dream thief. I feel like this person will see what it is that you're going for and do something to sabotage it. And the longer you keep this person in your life, the longer that's going to happen. And ain't that some crazy shit for it to be somebody that you're so close to, it, so close to, so close with? Like, I hope this is not a relative. I hope because if it's two of cups, this would literally have to be like somebody you really trust. And you really think it's supposed to be some type of healing shit, but it's not. And you're going to find out. You're going to find out every time some shit gets sabotaged that this person was right there. Because they watching. Look at you about to plant a seed. And you going up the mountain or going wherever you're going. This person watching. Okay, where are they going to plant that? I'm going to go dig that shit up. Okay, y'all. Let me get something here. And that's how they do. We have the Nine of Cups energy here. See, you're going to get there anyway. This person going to be mad as hell. You're going to be strong. You're going to get your wish fulfillment here. Wherever you're trying to go, you're going to get that. Because I see it went from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, despite that page of sword in between. So it don't matter. They can go there, try to find it. They won't find it. They won't find it. That's what that just showed me. We have the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Okay. It is something about money. I've been getting that recently. Like it's always it's always somebody like really it's somebody here their mind is very very focused on money or somebody in your energy that their mind is very very focused on what you have or what you're growing or what you're building, what you're planting cuz they want to go dig that shit up. They don't want it to be so, but it went from page of pentacles to the queen of pentacles, didn't it? Yes it did. Yes it did. <laughs> Let me get something here with the justice card. We have the Six of Pentacles energy here. Let me get something here. Nah, you're going to get exactly what it is you're supposed to get. You planted that shit, and that's going to sprout out, and whatever the seed that you planted, that's what's going to come out, the damn thing. Okay. I don't know who the hell this person think they are. But whatever they, whatever happens, it's going to wake you up to the truth. It's going to wake your ass up. You're going to really plant seeds after that. Oh, you're going to really plant seeds after that. Knight of Wands energy. Oh, it's going to be on. Let me get something here with this page of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands energy here. Yeah, you're going to know. You got to protect it. So you know that this person is watching. So you got to... Shit, you got to trick their ass. You got to okie doke their ass. Shit, go up the mountain on this side. Come down on that side. Go to the left. Go to the right. And put that shit right there. Let me get something here with this Eight of Cups. Yeah, you know this person watching. This person is exposed. We got the star. Yeah, you know they watching. You know they watching and you know you got to protect yourself and protect whatever it is you're planting. You know, or you should know. You know this person ain't on your side. This person may be your damn family. They may be your own damn family. Maybe your own ex or some shit. People just don't change. Let me get something here with this page of sword. We have the king of swords energy here. Well, damn. Somebody is an expert when it comes to your ass. <laughs> Somebody know you very well. That's exactly why you got to you gotta def uh, defend yourself here. That's a damn shame. They went from a page of sword to a king of sword. They know too damn much. We have the Hermit card here. Oh, not the Hermit. The Hierophant. I just saw the H. We have the Hierophant card here. Okay, nine of, nine of Cups above that. This could be about some type of title that you're supposed to have or you're going to have. Like, you're really going to grow past this person. I'm telling you. You're going to see, but you got to leave this person alone. You're going to grow past this person, though. This shit was not what you thought it was. We have the full card here. Yep. And your whole life is going to start over like a rebirth, like a baptism. 
like a clean slate. Mm-hmm. And we have the tower. Yep. And this is very unexpected here. It's something they're going to see because I, oh, the first thing I saw was that eye. Man, they're going to see. They're going to see. They're going to see. They're going to see some shit. They may not have believed in you. They may have tried to stop you. They may have down talked you. They may have shit talked you. They may have done a whole bunch of shit and they're going to see exactly what they held you back from. Yeah. The devil. Mm-hmm. That's who's going to fucking see. Whoever this is in your life, they was toxic as hell. They was toxic as hell, man. Damn, they was toxic. And we got a king of pentacles here. Man, this person is materialistic. That's their motherfucking middle name. Oh, my gosh. Should I? No, I'm not even going to pull another row. Let's see what the hell... Maybe these ancestor cards might help somebody. Maybe we get like a cure or some shit like that. Maybe a bath or some shit. It's a prescription or some shit for this person to, to take. It says red string. It says, okay, let me read this. Okay, worn or tied around petitions for protection, faith, good luck, strength, and connection. Something about a red string? I don't know. Okay, it's coming out here, so it's significant. It says white candle. So something about red and white, okay? Something about red and white, lighting a white candle. It says blessings, purity, healing, rest. It says illuminates the path to inner peace and divine guidance. It says road opener. Yeah, it's like I'm getting the kind of energy you need like you need some type of like protection or you need to ask for protection or you need to do something. It's something about like being conscious of what you are enduring or what you just have endured. Cause I don't know what part of this path somebody's in, but if someone needs a road opener, they're still blocked. And you may only be in the beginning of this energy where you're still thinking that this is love and you're not realizing how much you're being blocked like from your life and what your life is supposed to be it's like you have to see your life separate from this person i don't know how to say you may be under the illusion that you have to like have this person right in your your pocket that's not what it is that's how this person wants you to think because they they're they're coming out like the devil card here like they're serious okay it says something about astrology maybe you need to get into astrology possibly maybe you need to get into it and usually when I see red string and it has like some people even tie knots in it, right? You can like put that around your wrist. I'm trying to tell somebody some shit right now. OK, it's some type of it's something here that you need and you need to break free from this shit because it's like this. This that kind of energy that can have the claws in you. If you understand, like on a spiritual in a spiritual nature, this is that kind of energy. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. They're stopping your road from opening. OK, so it's something here. I really feel like you need to get into astrology. You need to start understanding. I feel like it's somebody's path. It may not be everybody, but every day somebody wakes up to it and they be like, oh, shit, this shit is real. It's not always just a sun sign. That's how people are introduced to it. They always think that, oh, I'm just going to look at my horoscope. I'm going to look at my sun sign. But it's deeper than that. And somebody may need to get into that because it's coming out here. So it has to be significant here. Let me get something with this. It says message. Let me get something with message. Number 33. Shit, that was a message right there for somebody. It says guides. Your guides are telling you this. I'm just the one that's, you know, I'm just the messenger. But the message is coming from beyond me. It says nature, spirit. See, they talking. They talking. Okay? They're talking. I'm just chilling. It says focus. It's, you see this right here, this arrow? And you see that bow right there? Yeah, that shit has to shoot forward. You got to go. You got to go. It says focus. Number 24. Okay. It's time to get it together here. It says courage. Lightning bolt here too. It's time for somebody here. Let me get one of these messages here. It says change. It's time to change. It says I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. It says success. You will have success if you can change, if you can realize 
And it says abundance, change, success, and abundance. And what's at the bottom? It says gratitude. And you know there's a lot of messed up cards in these decks, but these came out just right for somebody. If you change, you have success and abundance. Whew, gratitude here. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. And that's what you're about to show with your actions. You have to choose yourself. You have to love yourself. Let me get an angel message here. Holy love. And that's what you're going to get to. You got to love yourself. It says take charge and action. And guess what that is? That looked like an arrow to me. It's time to go. It's even facing the same damn direction. It's time to go. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.